evening before our crossing tomorrow to Cyprus. We are pretty excited. We have been here now two months in uh, Herzliya Marina and it has been a nice but cold winter so we're very happy the to... The cold is since years. Yeah. <laughs> so we're a little bit happy to start now. Hopefully there is less rain in uh, Cyprus. And it's warmer maybe, hopefully. Let's see. We prepared everything for tomorrow. We normally lay out all our clothes and stuff so we don't have anything to worry about. In the morning. Yeah, so tomorrow at around 7 the Coast Guard will come and uh, we will finalize all the documents and then we are ready to go. So one last flight, going to bed now. <laughs> get a little bit more later on. The last time when we came from Lornaca we had like this rig, like flapping bird and a few octopuses. Once the fishing rods were in the water, we sit down and enjoy this nice sail in the sun. last long and as predicted clouds came up and uh, we could already see some uh, rain <laughs> in distance so we decided to put on our weather gear Hours. 
but now fortunately it has calmed down a little bit. We have been taking turns of about two to three hours. Unfortunately, I got very seasick at about 10 p.m. yesterday uh, because simply I, I probably just got too cold out here in the rain. But uh, after a good three hours of sleep, I'm back here outside here now and uh, entering my third hour of watch. And I then will be changing again with Michael. It's pretty stable now. And uh, the wind died a little bit on us, so we're motoring now. But uh, really looking forward to get back to land right now. <laughs> the tiredness is kicking in a little bit. But I'm sure that tomorrow in the morning everything looks better again. And so it did. After a common breakfast, everything looked a lot more sunny again. And with only 40 nautica miles to go, we decided it was time to his the Cyprus flag. So while changing the flag, I found this and I think it belongs to the gooseneck holding the... The main? Yeah. Okay, that's not good. We need to not good. During our crossing from uh, Tel Aviv to Cyprus, we nearly lost our boom, so this part. And when I was walking uh, forward to check or to change the flag from Israel to Cyprus, I saw a little splint. This one here, laying on the on the deck, because it was rusted, corroded, whatever, breaking apart. And the bolt inside holding the gooseneck was always moving upwards due to the movement of the boom and the shaking of, of the boat. So if it would have gone higher or lower, we would have lost our dear boom. <laughs> so what we learned is that every day, no, what we learned is that before every passage now we will check the gooseneck or basically every other screw if something is missing.